Did you know that it was a woman, Ya Asantewa, who led the, ma the last major resistance against the British colonization of the Gold Coast, which is the country that we now know as Ghana? Hi. Welcome. Thanks for being a part of the Sankofa Pan-African series. I hope that you know that we can only continue this series with your support. Please support us by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. And you can also help by sharing our videos with your friends and, uh, and contacts. So please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you. Ya Asantewa was born in 1840. She was born in Besease. She belonged to the Ejisu, an Ashanti ethnic group in Ghana. Ashantewa was appointed queen mother by her brother, Nana Akwesi Afrane Okpase, whose reign was uh, rather turbulent. At the time of her appointment as a queen mother, the Gold Coast, which at independence became known as Ghana, was under British protectorate. Now, one of the ways in which the British financed, in fact, the major way in which the British financed their colonizing campaigns against the Ashanti and other ethnic groups um, in Africa was by imposing taxes on local population. In Ghana, in, uh, in the Ashanti area, they also took over the gold mines. And um, all of this led to the Ashanti to rebel against uh, British rule. Now, during her brother's um, reign, the Ashanti Confederacy went through a series of events that threatened their existence, including a, a civil war. You know, so, but after the death of Akwasi, her brother, Ya Asantewa's grandson became the ruler of Ejisu. His reign did not last long because by 18, um, 1896, he and the king of the Ashantis, Prempe the first were exiled by the British to the island of Seychelles. Now, sending powerful leaders on exile was also one of the ways in which the British destabilized a lot of African communities. Now, after her grandson was exiled, Yaa Santewa became regent of the Ejisu Joaben district. Now, in a single-minded pursuit to break the backbone of the Ashanti, the British Governor General of the Gold Coast at the time, um, Frederick Hodgson, demanded that the golden stool of the Ashanti be handed over to him. But the Ashanti uh, refused. The golden stool was the Ashanti throne and a symbol of Ashanti autonomy. Frederick Hodgson then kept sending colonial officials out to find the, the stool because the Ashanti kept refusing to surrender it. Now, instead, they hid it to keep it safe. Now, the colonial officers that Hudson sent went from village to village trying to force people to reveal where the golden stool was hidden without any success. They ransacked village after village and even assaulted young children when they could not find adults, you know, who had gone into hiding to avoid getting caught, beaten, or arrested. So by March 1900, things had degenerated, so degenerated that Ya Asantewa was chosen by the Asante fighting force to lead the resistance against the, the British onslaught. As a woman, her appointment as war leader was most unusual in Ashanti history. She, however, proved her mettle. Some accounts actually refer to the Ashanti British War of the Golden Stool as the Ya Ashantewa War because of the way she took firm leadership of the, um, of the Ashanti troops against the British. For several months, the Ashanti troops of about 5,000 under the leadership of Yaa Shantewa, laid siege to the British mission, which was uh, stationed in the fort in, a, in Kumasi. They succeeded in cornering the British, who then brought in reinforcements made up of several thousand uh, troops and artillery. 
This then gave the British the advantage to succeed in breaking the Ashanti siege. Uh, Queen Asantewa and 15 of her closest advisors were unfortunately captured and sent into exile in Seychelles. Now, she remained there until her death on uh, the 17th of October, 1921. Her body was eventually returned to Ghana uh, for burial. Now, Yashantewa was the last African woman to lead a major war against colonial powers. And she was a crucial figure in mobilizing both men and women to resist colonial power. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to help sustain us by sharing our videos uh, with your friends and contacts. See you next time.